Welcome, collectors and model enthusiasts. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Diecast Emporium. In today's video, we're going big. Not just big, but massive. And we're going to be reviewing the 148 scale classic construction models Caterpillar 776 off highway tractor with Mega MET 185 trailer. I know, a bit of a mouthful as we often see with some of these models, but if you're a fan of large mining and construction equipment, this is a must own model for you. So let's take a look at some of the literature that comes with this model first before we take a look at the actual truck and trailer. Here is the original equipment's brochure along with the serial number that comes with it. As you can see, there were 500 models made, and I have serial number 355. If you open it up, you can see some information about the truck as well as the Mega Met 185 or MET trailer. You may have heard of the Mega Corporation before. They not only make large trailers, but obviously they make large water tanks. They make a lot of other things for mining and quarry applications. So it's always important to have your credentials and uh, your documentation with models, particularly with CCM models. You always want to make sure you hang on to this and not discard it. All right, so with that out of the way, let's turn our attention to the model. So the real-life CAT 776 tractor provided reliable power to haul large loads in the toughest of hauling conditions. When it was paired with the Mega MET-105 equipment trailer, there really wasn't much this heavy hauler couldn't haul. It was capable of hauling large mining and construction equipment up to 185 tons, thus the name of the MET-185 trailer. So it wouldn't be out of the realm of possibility to even see some of these around today. If you have the Norscott tow haul uh, low boy set, that's essentially what this is. Uh, but back in the day, of course, you might have seen this hauling maybe some 5130 shovels around, that kind of thing. And uh, when we end this video, I'll show this hauling one piece of CCM mining equipment in particular that I think, in my humble opinion, probably looks best on this to date. So let's begin with taking a look at the tractor portion or the truck portion, the 776 portion of the set, and then we will look at the trailer. So here it is. And as we start with this, I do want to go over just a little bit more information about the model. So it was released in 2014, and the original MSRP for the whole set was just shy of $400 at $399.95. As I said before, this is a 148 scale die cast piece, and measured end to end with the trailer assembled, it is 22.75 inches long. The opening features, which we will cover now on the truck, include an opening cab door on this side, as well as on the other side right here. Now this one I've left tape, but rest, rest assured, just like on the 777 dump truck and on the larger 776 hauling the dump trailer, both sides do open up. Another feature is the correct brown or beige interior that you would find on cat machines from this era. There's also a steering wheel inside, obviously the operator seat, which you can see in there a little bit, and there's also some joysticks or levers, whichever you want to call them, highlighted the tips of them with some black paint. So let's close that. Another working feature on the tractor portion of the truck, at least, is an opening engine panel right on the top portion of it. That you can do with your hands. It's pretty simple. Or you can use a pointer tool, whatever you have really at your disposal. It's helpful to open the back one first and then pry the front one open. And once you have it open, it stays open unless you angle it, so they might close down just because of gravity, of course, but right now they're behaving themselves. And inside you can see the detailed cat motor, and obviously it was a true monster back in the day. The see-through grill portion actually allows you to see the large fan that is perforated through, so you can close that up. Another working feature on this truck is that it has working steering. As you can see, I already have it angled to... A pretty good degree but you can turn it obviously to the other way and with some care it will hold that angle as well if you want to take a look underneath of the truck here you'll find your CCM logo as well as the undercarriage of the truck the tread pattern on the tires the working suspension which actually if you look the truck does have a fair degree of suspension movement particularly at the rear you can see the fender wells going up and down 
and that's helped along by these shocks right here. You can see them going up and down. So that's always pretty cool to see. This is how you would hook the truck up to the trailer, which we're going to get to in just a second. But on this side, you have your cat logo. Your Block C or Pac-Man logo is on this side with Caterpillar here, as well as 776. So let's go ahead and hook up this whole truck to see how that works. It's really quite simple. You have your working uh, kingpin hitch system, which is right here. So this essentially you just lift up, and then the bottom portion of the trailer has just a simple hole there. Just make sure that they are lined up, and then you just it's a matter of just dropping it in. So once that's done, the truck and trailer are conjoined together, and you're ready to display the two. Now on the trailer, there are dualies on both wheels for a total of four. So you have obviously two wheels on this side, two wheels on this side, as I said, for a total of four. On the deck of the truck, again, I'll turn this towards the camera, you can see that there are simulated wood finishing on top of the deck, while this has other indentations in the bed, just to add some detail. There's a small ladder on this side, right here, as well as the Mega Corporation logo on both sides of the trailer. If you look underneath, unfortunately, all aspects of the underside of the trailer are made with plastic, as you can hear and see there. But of course, the top portion of the trailer is a die cast and pretty well made and robust piece. So, once again, for the second time in this video, let's join the two together, the truck and trailer, and we'll show you how a very large piece of Caterpillar machinery would look being hauled. Now, granted, the piece of machinery I'm bringing in is much newer in terms of the era that we're talking about here. Uh, obviously, this would be 70s, 80s, and I'm bringing in a modern-day machine now with the Cat 6015B. But again, it's not out of the realm of possibility that you wouldn't see it 776 or a mega trailer still in use today. So let's put our 6015B, which again, in my personal opinion, I think is one of the best loads that you can put on. And you can put this in your display case or however you display your models. And I think it scales out perfectly and looks pretty unique on this trailer. So that will conclude my review of the Classic Construction Models Caterpillar 776 Off-Highway Tractor with the Mega MET-185 trailer. Unlike most Classic Construction Models, particularly ones that are pretty old, as I said before earlier on in this video, this one came out early on in 2014, this is still available from some of the authorized CCM distributors. So it's not one of the ones that you have to go pay an arm and a leg and deal with typical appreciation on some of the classic construction models. Uh, in fact, I was able to pick mine up for 3,000 toys at retail price. So at the time that I'm filming this review, I believe they do still have some in stock. So if this is something that you want to add to your collection, or maybe just add it before uh, they do become a closed edition model and you can't find them anywhere anymore, that might be a good option for you. But you guys let me know down in the comment section below what you think of this heavy hauler. And uh, like I said before, if you do have the Norscott tow haul set and then you add this one, it's kind of nice to have both of them with a machine that's 20 or 30 years apart with the then version and then the now version. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, take care and be safe. I'll see you in the next review.